Hi folks, in, the, in today's episode we are going to draw in the um, development of the first tomb of the pyramid. So in this case, the first thing to do is you radiate um, the lines from the vertices of the, on the plan to the base of the front elevation. So I'm radiating them to the base of the front elevation. Then you, you join those radiated lines to the apex. So that's the top, the very top of the pyramid. So this is called the radial line method where you join the lines from the base to the apex. The next step is basically those lines that you radiated to the apex, you are going to take them back to the pyramid, to the plan rather. You are going to radiate them back to the plan. And then they are going to you are going to mark where they cut the vert the, the um the lines through the vertices to the center. So I'll do that. There we go. So now this one that's radiated here, I'll take it back to come back down. I'll take it back again, come down. I will also take this back to come down here. So I will also take them. Um, okay, yes, here we go. This, this will be here. This back is come down. I will also take this one here. So you can see we have this, we have this one. Let's call this um, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we have this one cuts this as radiated back. It comes to meet it here back. Yeah, we had this B cut, it has been related back to meet B here. Yeah. So we had, we had C cut, it has been related back to meet C. We had D cut, it has been related back to meet D. We had E cut, it has been related back to meet E. And lastly, we had F cut, it has been related back to meet F. Yeah. So we're going to join these six points together. So these are the six. Um, this When we join the point, we will get the shape of the plan. So that is the complete plan. So the plan looks like this one viewed from above. This 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 is the true shape. This is the um, true shape of the, this is true shape as viewed from the plan. Let's draw the action to show that this has been cut through. Now, having done that, the next step to do is um, we are going to draw the development now. So, all you need to do is just draw a line parallel, perpendicular to the truncation plane. So, this perpendicular line to the truncation plane. Let's draw it like this. So, start from here. This line is perpendicular to the truncation plane. So, it will also pass through all these relevant points. So, this intersections. Then, so okay, Ada, we won't need that for now. So all you need to do is you open your compass to the, um, this the lens of this side. Let's call this side A B. That is B C. So open our compass to A B. Then we'll radiate we'll draw it, a curve. Okay, so we'll draw the curve. And this curve will be the curve from which our um our development will be drawn. So all I need to do is just move those um, Transfer those intersections on the truncation. We transfer them to the right. So let's transfer this one to the right. It's already at the right here. Let's transfer this one to the right. So to meet this line AB, I'll transfer this one. This one that has been projected. Transfer it to the right to, to meet line AB. Finally, so we have only four. One, two, three, four. We didn't transfer. We don't need to transfer the. Uh, yes, yes. We don't need to transfer the center line. So. We'll not begin to relate those together also. So I'll have the first one. Let's, let's transfer it. I'll have the second one. We have to meet the line AB. Transferred. I'll have the third. Also transferred. And we have the last. Also transferred. So we don't need anything more than that. These are the only points we need. Then all we need to do now, we need to um, cut off the length of the side of this shape. So it's, it's a regular shape, so we just cut off equal sections. So this section will be, will be six centimeters. Will be, will be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now these are the six vertices of the hexagon. So this is the hexagonal prism. So then we'll join each of these vertices to the center of the cone. First to the center. Okay, higher. Right. To the apex, right? Not the center. The apex. We join them to the apex. Mm -hmm. this, these are these to the apex, right here. These to the apex, right here. These to the apex, right here. 
this to the fx gravity then this to the fx gravity and finally this to the fx gravity so that's good so and the next thing is um basically we'll begin to so let's let's call this this is um let this be d this is the d point that's the from d to e d e f a b c d so at d the height is right here then at e the height is i'm going to connect to this radial line then at f the height is going to connect to this radial line here that will be at f so dot it that will be, that will be the vertices of the development at a the height to connect to this radial line the topmost at b the height to connect to this one also. So at B we have it here. Yes, at B. Now have at C to connect to this radial line here. Finally at D again, when we get back to D to connect to this. So let's join all of them together. So let's join them all these points together. So this is the development. This is how it look when it is represented on a flat plane. When you open up this um, pyramid, you get this this shape so let's get to it okay so let's join each of these vertices together these are the vertices of the figure we we'll join them by straight lines now we'll also join the edges the um if the, the edges these are the edges of this pyramid these are the edges of the development. Finally, we have here. And finally, at D. So, this is how to construct the development of uh, the full sum of a pyramid. Thanks for watching.